day 8, Genesis 22-24, Mount Moriah and then Mount Calvary 2,000 years later. Abraham, who trusted God, focused on who asked for Isaac's life rather than on the command to give Isaac as a burnt offering. This instant promoted Abraham to God's friend. First point, God only tests people who were worthy of testing. God tested Abraham because he was indeed qualified to take the test. The son that God gave Abraham at the age of 100, just as God had promised the son Abraham loved so dearly, Abraham's only son was asked by God to be offered as a burnt sacrifice. To God, this was a test, but to Abraham, it was a reality. But surprisingly, Abraham did not waver or hesitate and went forth with God's request. Abraham loved his son more than his own life, but at the same time, he knew that Isaac was not his property. Abraham could have inquired, Without Isaac, how can you fulfill your great plan to bless all nations? But Abraham later concentrated on that fact that it was God who requested. In other words, rather than focusing on the request itself, Abraham focused on who it was that had requested. No wonder God called Abraham to be tested. Second point, the Jewish family school began with Abraham's family. The conversation between Abraham and Isaac became a starting point for the Jewish family school system. On Mount Moriah, Abraham and Isaac had a father-son conversation. On the son's shoulder was the wood to be used for the burnt offering. And in the father's hand was the knife to be used to kill the offering. Isaac asked, there is the wood and fire for the burnt offering, but where is the young lamb? Abraham answered, God will provide the offering. Most wonderfully at the moment, Abraham taught and confessed, Jehovah Jireh. Third point, the burnt offering on Mount Moriah was a pre-trial for the offering on Mount Calvary 2,000 years later. Abraham completed all the tasks needed for the burnt offering and then placed Isaac on top of the altar. Abraham went to stop Isaac's heart. It was then that God in heaven shouted, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Do not lay your hand on the boy, he said. Do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. This was the moment God's heart exploded with joy. If it had not been for the absolute love and trust between Abraham and Isaac, then there would not have been this burnt offering on Mount Moriah. The actual reason why God was overjoyed with the burnt offering on Mount Moriah was because he was planning to save the entire human race 2,000 years later through the ultimate offering on Mount Calvary. Through the instant on Mount Moriah and Mount Calvary, God and Abraham were able to share the experience of offering their most precious son for each other. Because of this instant, Abraham received the honor of being called God's friend. Fourth point, Abraham's life companion, Sarah, left two symbols of hope in history. The first was the Cave of Machpelah. The Cave of Machpelah was the first piece of land that Abraham purchased for the exact monetary worth. Both Abraham and Sarah were buried in that cave, and then Isaac and Rebecca were also buried there. Afterwards, Leah and then Jacob, who died in Egypt, were also buried in the cave. The second was Sarah's faith. It was Sarah who proved that nothing is impossible for God 
that later inspired Samuel's mother Hannah as well as Jesus' birth mother Mary. Fifth point. In light of Damascus, learned how to pray through his master Abraham. After the death of Sarah, Abraham gave Elijah of Damascus the mission to find Isaac a wife. The task of finding Isaac a wife was indeed a big one. Abraham asked Elijah of Damascus for three things. The first was someone who was not a Canaanite. The second was to find someone amongst Abraham's family or boss town. The third was to ensure that Isaac would not leave Canaan. Elijah of Damascus had three points to his prayer. The first was to accomplish his mission to find a suitable wife for Isaac to continue Abraham's line. The second was with faith that Isaac's wife would already know and serve Jehovah. The third was to find the woman God had prepared near the well who would come to fetch water. His prayer was answered even before he had finished praying. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tom Dog app.